Well, she's going for her seventh national title here tonight, but this is far greater than just being here at the national championships. I mean, she has just set herself so far apart from the rest of the field, and not just on the competition floor here in Texas, but the entire universe. <laughs> here she goes. combination right here three elements in a row no. Perfection. Yes. and she was supposed to do those two leaps together with that pipe back somersault so she'll lose just a little bit of extra bonus but Nobody in the world has ever done a dismount this well. She could do an extra full twist. She doesn't need to. <laughs> One down, three to go. Great to have the fans back, too, at these events and all eyes during that entire routine, certainly on Simone Biles, kicking it off here. Night two leading the way after the opening night at the national championships. So a lot of people don't like this skill, but if you're going to do it, you got to do it like Simone Biles. Look at the speed. <laughs> it's unreal. I mean, that's what she does just throughout the entire routine. This combination, three elements in a row, back handspring, back layout, back layout. And, you know, she does every single skill so well. And I think people don't realize actually how difficult some of these elements are, including this dismount, two back handsprings into a full twisting double back tim as you mentioned capable of doing a whole nother full rotation which she actually performed last year at the world championships and that, she was the first to do it that's scary the Biles. that is just a scary <laughs> thought isn't it yeah yeah adding that full twist is next level laurent and cecile landy her coach is now heading for another olympics won five medals in rio four of them gold and on beam it was a bronze so one rotation down, you still have floor to come, uneven bars, you got the vault to come tonight. Timmy, think back to night one, two, she was the best on, well, three of the four, vault, beam, and floor. And she was solid on the fourth one, on uneven bars as well. Take a look at this opening tumbling pass, two flips, Three twists, never been done before. It is called the Biles. Wow. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Absolutely astonishing. 
if you don't think that that's hard, then you really don't understand gymnastics. Because How many people out there do you think actually don't think that's hard <laughs> after watching that? I don't that? know. I don't know. It's. I mean, the pro this is the problem, Terry. Everything she does, even the things that she's the only one in the world that does them, she makes them look so darn easy. Yeah, it's right. not. So speaking about speaking of looking easy, this is that opening tumbling pass called the bios again was the first person in the world to do it at the world championships. So that is why it is named after her. Look at the height that she gets. <laughs> it is just incredible. The two flips and three twists and somehow just about as close to a perfect landing. Look, there's the second one. One more still flipping. Got the ground with her eyes. Oh. It's got to be such a kick to have different things named after you, to be the first to do it at World Championships at an Olympic. You think she still gets a kick out of it? I would say yes. I mean, whether it's named, whether it's being named after her, but I think just actually being able to perform those skills, right? It's, it's a challenge. It's a test. And, and she is already so far above the rest of the competition field that she has to only compete against herself. Simone Biles, the number for her floor exercise. So now to a 24-year-old about to go on vault. First of two. Wow. <laughs> Ho hum. <laughs> you know, it's it's just absolutely incredible. I think a lot of people think it's just her that she gets, but it, it is the perfect technique that actually really sets her apart. Look at the height that she gets off of the table, the full extension in her body spots the ground. And by the way, the distance as well. You yeah, know, it's, it, it's, exactly. it's just a little bit of everything, or a lot, a lot of everything. That camera <laughs> angle we had and here, it just shows you how far she travels. Yeah. I mean, the vault's not even in frame there. Wow. <laughs> it is just spectacular. You know, and we, we constantly talk about her power, but the th and she's got as much as anyone has ever had, but she also has unbelievable technique. Most gymnasts in the world that do that vault, they start twisting while they're still on the table, which is a deduction and makes it harder to get the height she gets. She does everything right. She's gonna fly even higher on this one. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, before she even lands, it is just, it's, it's, you can't compare her to anybody or anything. The closest thing to that that has ever been was Michaela Maroney. And she was state of the art in Absolutely. her own time. Michaela Maroney, of course, part of a gold medal winning Olympic team. She's won a couple of world championships for the USA on vault. But look, she just keeps going up. One other thing I forgot about Michaela, she was famous for not impressed, the not impressed face. Yes. Look at this. Just, once again, just performs it with such ease. Everything she does is effortless. There's the average, 15, 4, 7, 5. Whether you play it in real time, or slow it down, you you appreciate different things. The first time around, you just shake your head and go, what, what did I just see? And then every position in the air, you, you gain an appreciation for where she is in certain times. She said she had a major goal to get a lot better on it, and after she accomplished that, she, she said it kind of wasn't as fun anymore. <laughs> Go right here, not today. Beautiful. Big dismount. Two flips, two twists, one piece of air. <laughs> there you go. Seven time national champion. History books again.
<laughs> These championships have seen so many legends over the years, so many icons of the sport, but with seven titles now to her name, it's pretty safe to say that nobody has ever shined brighter on this stage. Well, that's for sure. She is something else, I'll tell you. Can you imagine if there was actually somebody to push her? She, I mean, she pushes herself. Well, she does. <laughs> you know? She certainly does and has done a great job with that. <laughs> it, it is fascinating, though, because any athlete needs another athlete to push them, and it seems like she doesn't. She, she just takes it to a new level all the time. Jordan Childs was very emotional from the moment she finished that bar routine. For her, halfway to her Olympic dream, Simone's already had one. The dream came true, and she's going to do it up even bigger this time. Here's that dismount. Tammy mentioned two flips, two twists. But again, take a look at how high she gets just above the bar. Look at this. Spots the ground. Easy. <laughs> for her. <laughs> and we talk about the Olympics all the time. How about every year what she does at the World Championships? Most decorated gymnast, man or woman, at, in the history of the World Championships. 25 medals, 19 of them gold. <laughs> that, that is, that's ridiculous. Come on. Simone, an unprecedented seventh national title. You've told us in the past that you don't really focus on the hardware, but right. as you make history once again, what are the emotions tied to this title? Yeah, it's really emotional, especially going into my second time doing um, an Olympic run. It's really crazy, and I appreciate everyone that's come out to watch and support us, especially after the year we've had. So somebody on Twitter called the WCC squad the gymnastics Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got a nice sound to it, right? Yes. But seriously, though, what has it meant to you to be able to share all of this with so many of your teammates yeah. and your good friends? It's meant the world, especially having the younger ones to kind of guide through the way. I've been here for so long, so to be a mentor for them has meant everything for me and to share these accomplishments and these goals. You have often said that your best memories come from when you're having fun. Yes. Being able to be here again with all of those teammates, how yeah. much fun is this? And what will you remember most from these championships? Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun, but it's been a lot of stress too because there is not only me, there are six of us that we brought, but it, we've just had so much fun. So what did you say to Jordan? We saw you, she was so emotional after her yeah. last routine. What did you say to her? Yeah, I told her that she had done it and she belongs to be here and we're gonna go to trials and do the exact same thing because this is what we've trained for. So I'm happy she got to go out there and show the world what she's capable of because she, she deserves it. Well, congratulations and on to trials. Thank you, yes, on to trials. <laughs> <laughs> All right.